Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're at home to Espanyol in the league today. We did play RB Leipzig in the Europa League in the last match and it was a tight 1-0 win. But we are now through to the next stages. There is one more match to play in that uh, group stage but we've been confirmed as going through. Let's jump into the lineups. I think there's going to be some tired legs today. And unfortunately, Mudrug is still injured. I think this may be the last match that he's missing. Potentially one more. Made a few changes. Teixeira is going to come in at left back. Posting goal. Bajer is now going to play in that central attack midfielder role. We've got Arcas and Carlos Perez supporting Ruben Castro, who's playing up top. But back at home in the league after playing away in Europe. We're still six points ahead in the league, I believe, when I last looked. So doing very well on three fronts. I think the only loss we've had this season was in the Europa League and uh, we've bounced back from that. We're actually top of the group stage and we've got one match to play in that group stage and um, already through though. And I think the squad we've got is just about big enough to cope at the moment. Um, but any more injuries or downward forms, it does hit us pretty hard. Oh, what a goal that was. Carlos Perez cutting in from the right. Couldn't really find any space, so he picked out Arcas. Arcas played the ball back, and a lovely, sweet finish from Perez. Look at this. Trying to find a shot. Nowhere to go. Really nice pass to Arcas, and he just flicks it back. Nice finish. We haven't seen as much from that. Um, from Perez doing that this season. Would like to see more of that. It is against stronger opposition now. You've got to remember that. Um, you know in the last season there was the odd decent team in and then we'll, when we're in the cup we're playing you know more difficult teams but now that's pretty much every game so the step up in quality has to be there from us as well by no means he's been playing poorly just don't think the numbers are as strong as the last season but that's to be expected we've just been promoted Took a while to settle into the new signings as well, the, the new team. Tried not to make too many. Don't want to make like a massive amount of signings at once. And disrupt what you've already got. Emerson on the overlap here. Emerson! Oh, I thought that was in. Keeper just got a hand to it. Just. Yeah. And Cousins is back in. So he's back on corner duty. And already that looks better. Didn't get the goal. But it was a lot better than we've been uh, playing in the last couple of games. Perez. I wasn't sure if that was a legitimate tackle if he got fouled, but he didn't get the shot away. Good header. Somehow we <laughs> run past the ball there. Good tackle. Will they get it back straight away. Nice ball over the top. Well, that wasn't the best of... Um, <laughs> should have caught that, I think. But it might actually pay for us. Ah, uh, Carlos Perez, you've got to get the pass away quicker. There wasn't really much support, to be fair. Lovely ball through to Castro. 2-0. No doubt about it. As soon as he's through there, you expect the... Back of the net to Russell. Back of the net to Russell, is that even a saying? I don't know if that is a saying if I've made it up. Won the ball. Really nice pass from Cousins. He's got a very, very good weight of pass on him. 
calm as you like. Tino looking a little bit more comfortable than the last match, to say the least. That was a tricky one in the last match, 1-0 one, one in the end. Cost pairs with space there. Overrun it slightly, manages to keep it in the end. Cousins, block. Brugere, Cousins again. I just got the uh, block in, the tackle rather. Again, they're playing very casually at the back, which does annoy me because even like really, not that these are a crappy team, but even crappy teams start to do that. Oh, just overrun it there. Could be in trouble. Good defender by Herrera in the end. and brings it forward. He does offer a lot of attack. Taking options down that side and here he is again. It's a thump and challenge. I did a very similar tackle in the last match and didn't get away with it. Nice header. Sure, what's going on there? People falling over. Oh, Bajer can't quite get it through. Oops. Oh, honestly, this referee is. I've got the free kick. I was just about to start kicking off there. I don't think that's a free kick either way. I think that's a terrible decision. I'm glad it's went my way, but um. Getting angry because the, the uh, opposition get a free kick that wrongly, wrongly called against them. Okay. Nicely played from Castro there. Showing his strength. I bet it's 2 0 at half time. Pretty straightforward. Probably could have been more. 57% possession and four shots with them all being on target. Maybe not at our, at our sort of attacking fluid best. Don't know what that was from Tech Sherry. He's just swinging it. I was going to say that must have gone out. Um, right, can we get this away quickly? Too quickly. That's atrocious. Just calm it down a bit. Oh, lovely play there. Ah, uh, it's not the best of balls to Castro. No. Castro's never going to get that. Here's August now. Cousins. Oh, what a strike. It was dipping. Ah, uh, good that didn't go in. Cousins again though, oh, blocked. Could be a counter attack here. Got to be careful. Good tackle. Oh, don't know what happened there. Wasn't trying to pass it. Got the keeper out though. Yes, Cousins again. Carlos Perez Cousins gets his goal and he deserves that Cousins the nuisance that's what we're going to call him Cousins the nuisance uh, what a dad joke 
Um, yeah, nicely played outside of the foot pass to Perez. And a really nicely weighted pass back and a right foot finish. Very nice. It's normally the likes of Vieira that's playing the furthest forward out of the three. So it's nice to see Cousin's getting a bit more attack and threat. Bouger! Good save. Then we've got fouled on the way through as well, but we'll uh, take that. And we'll look to make some subs now. So we're going to take off Emerson just to give him a rest for McDowell. Going to switch the midfield around a fair bit. So Danny Garcia is going to come in in that sort of deepest centre midfield role. Herrera is going to push up a bit. Cousin going to push up a bit. Harrington's then going to replace Bajer and play on the right. And Carlos Perez is coming off as well. Let's see if we can play in a decent corner this time. Looks decent. Oh. Is that another corner? I think it is. It is. Don't know why they're playing it like that. Nice ball through to Harrington. Then he got here and nearly knocked out the opposition with the ball there. It's a nice ball through. Poor defending. Good defending in the end from Omar Magic. Then he got here. Herrera didn't react at all there. It was actually a decent pass. Did well to. Good finish. Brought the keeper out, but didn't do anything. And Braithwaite gets the goal. We had a warning sign before. We got cut open. Look at that. Two central defenders charging up. No need. Gave the keeper no chance. Look, what is Kosanu and Omraji both going up there for? There's absolutely no need for that. I don't know why they're doing that. Very good finish off the inside of the post. But like I say, we're warned before when Omaragic managed to get back and make a decent tackle. No chance this time. Oh, nicely played. Just couldn't quite get in for the header there. Alcas Castro. Oh. Did well. Managed to slow it down and somehow get a shot away. Look there, and we do. Oh, what a terrible pass that was! Just had to roll it across the box with hardly any weight. And it was a tap in, it was awful. Did all the hard work. That's not a good pass either. from Cossonu lovely ball through from Castro Houghton's getting his pit shape pulled how that's not a foul Castro again what a save oh, Houghton was in there defender just got there in time
McDowell, even though he's come off the bench, he's nowhere near catching that attacker. Just had to take him out. It's going to be a yellow card, I think. Is that not going to be a yellow card? Possibly one last chance here. Now Harrington. Castro. And there it is. Harrington made up for his mistake earlier with that terrible pass and a really nice counter attack laid on a plate for Castro. Surely man of the match. Really nice ball by Garcia, the youngster. Nice little pass there. And again, you're not uh, going to doubt Castro scoring. And that was a more difficult pass than the last one. Very good. I think four is about right, to be honest. I'm glad we got that. And there it is. Very comfortable win. Disappointed that we let that goal in, but it was a quality goal with some pretty poor defending. And their goal came from just the one shot they had. We had 11 with 10 being on target. So very good strike weight in terms of accuracy. That keeper did make some good saves. And man of the match, without doubt, Ruben Castro. But I would say that Cousins was probably a close second. I know Carlos Perez got a 7.5. But I would have put Cousins as the second best player on our team. But very good all round. And looking at the performance for November, we've just rolled into December now. You can see we had six matches and six wins. We've only let the one goal in. I was reading that wrong. So very good all round. Ruben Castro with five goals. And also he's in the top three for the average rating. Xerxes right up there as well though for average rating. And Mudrik in third. Consistently in the top three. So even when I don't think he's performing the best. And he is out injured at the moment. And he's maybe not getting the numbers. He always seems to be in that average rating top three. Bajer up there with some goals. Arcas with a few assists. Really good all-round stats there. But again, a very quick turnaround to the next match and again for the match after and again for the match after, which is then in Europe. So two league matches coming up, then the final group game in the Europa League, but we're already through in that. But hopefully you can join me for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.